Today on Press TV, a number of prominent human rights groups have urged the Bahraini regime to order an independent investigation into the death of a detainee amid allegations of torture. The Interior Ministry says Jasim Hassan al Haiki died of an unspecified medical condition. He was arrested on July 4th on charges of taking part in a bombing. Saudi warplanes have hit a village in the Yemeni province of Ambiyan, reportedly killing all members of a family. Earlier, a missile attack from Yemen left four people dead in Saudi Arabia's Jizan region. According to a Saudi civil defense spokesman, the missile caused material damage as well. UN diplomatic sources say Riyadh has not provided enough evidence that could lead to the kingdom's permanent removal from the blacklist of child killers for its attack on Yemen. The Saudi envoy to the UN, however, says the kingdom has addressed all UN concerns. Yemenis have hit the streets of the capital Sana'a to express their support for an agreement signed between the Ansar Allah movement and the General People's Congress to set up a governing council to run the country. The protesters urged other political parties to endorse the formation of the council. The Syrian army, backed by Russian warplanes, has fended off a major attack by foreign-backed militants in the flashpoint northern city of Aleppo. Meanwhile, the terrorists have launched a mortar attack on a government-held area in Aleppo, leaving four more civilians dead and several others wounded. Foreign-backed militants have shot down a Russian helicopter in Syria's Idlib province, killing all five people on board. The Russian Defense Ministry has said the transport helicopter was returning from a humanitarian operation in Aleppo. Russia is delivering aid to people in the city. At least six Turkish police officers have been killed in a car explosion in the country's restive southeast. Officials say the bomb, planted by militants from the Kurdistan Workers' Party, ripped through a police vehicle in Bengal province. The attack also left four officers seriously wounded. And French lawmaker George Fenech has called for building a Guantanamo Bay-style prison for terror suspects in France. He warns that France may soon face a large influx of terrorists from Iraq and Syria due to the ISIL losses of its territories there. Those are the latest here on Press TV.